Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Utame Cross tutorial video. And this time round, I have to apologize because I kind of left out this information uh, during my video update for version 3.1.0 uh, recently. Uh, I just found out about it uh, on the day itself after uploading the video that I missed out on this information, which I actually had written up to remind myself to actually mention it. But anyway, this portion of the video or rather this portion of the update actually deserves its own video because it is related to the upcoming event which is the red boss event so let's tap the as you can see the lobby and we get the warning sign that it shows that we are preparing to enter into the red boss battle mode and of course we are going to talk about what has been changed um, for the red boss battle uh, for since version 3.1.0 has been implemented and of course we're gonna dive into you know the the lobbies and of course we're gonna try and make some sense out of it um, from as what we can see visually at this point of time but in in general most of it is still not visible because everything that has been changed is actually got to do with the actual gameplay of the event and that's why I'm here for um, because I'm gonna break down all the Japanese information for you guys into English and hopefully you guys are gonna get prepared you know to to stand by to battle it out with all the red bosses that your 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 friends or even uh, random strangers who are fans of Macross uh, who's actually helping out and playing in whichever lobby you are currently gonna join uh, of course don't forget to join whichever lobby maybe your your friends or a team of uh, very active players are going to be helping you and you are going to help them um, generate those large amount of you know, super galaxy medals that you need to exchange for the exclusive uh, red boss event episode plate that is coming up uh, in just a few days time and this time around as you can see on the screen is it belongs to Gamlin and Ozma Lee um, depends on which faction you want to join uh, of course make sure you click the blue button like I've, I've said in my tutorial videos for the red boss events before if you wish to join your friends specific friends you can see your whole friend list and of course you can join uh, accordingly to whichever faction they belong to but make sure you do so quickly because well um, you know because the lobbies tend to fill up very very quickly and you might not make it in time to join them um, so yeah that's one of the important things to take note about when it comes to joining your friends in their particular um, you know lobby itself so anyway guys we're gonna jump into the Uta Macross wiki page because that's where all the information can be seen and of course we're gonna talk about it there because well apparently Uta Macross the game itself right now doesn't have enough information to actually talk about it detailedly so let's jump over to the website itself All right, so we are here on the official Uta Macross wiki page and we're going to break down all the six different pointers that they have included here for the version update 3.1.0 for the Red Boss event that's coming up in a few days time. So let's talk about the six pointers that really majorly changed the gameplay for the Red Boss event and how you might want to consider um, changing your style of play to suit the current event because you want to aim for top 100 from this event itself. All right, so let's take a look at the first pointer. As you can tell, they are talking about AP. And of course, yes, they have changed the max capacity of AP usable, which is three to 12. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. What does this mean for everybody? Basically means you start off with 12 AP to fight a red boss. And of course, you will have a larger capacity to recharge your AP instead of just 3 which it will take about 1.5 hours to have all 3 AP fully charged then you have to come back and play again now if you're a kind of person who doesn't have as much time to pay attention to, to the Red Boss event um, this is definitely beneficial because you don't want to end up checking your phone or your devices that you play the game on you know it is Uta Macross smartphone the culture you're supposed to play this on your smartphone not the PC so I don't know about those who are playing on the PC it's kind of cheating <laughs> in my opinion but anyways um, so yeah um, so having that amount of uh, extended time of 
restoring your AP is very very beneficial especially for those who are working full time uh, like myself I don't want to end up checking my phone every one and a half hours to see whether I've used up my uh, fully charged my AP and then of course I have to use the AP to put it on standby mode so when I'm free later I'll play the song that I have on standby then after that I still have more AP that have been recharged while I was on standby to play so that I don't end up wasting the time not recharging up AP hope that makes sense to you guys but anyway guys let's move on to point number two um, basically is regarding the cost of recharging 3 AP so basically now from like in the past uh, recharging 3 AP cost 10 singing stones but they have now dropped the uh, cost of it to 5 singing stones discounting it by 50% fantastic fantastic stuff but is it a good thing um, yes it is a good thing it is gonna cost you lesser but in a way not really because let's say for example yeah people have more singing stones now to spend on recharging their AP in the past from my experience, I, I got into top 100 by spending almost about 1,700 singing stones. If I had the same amount of singing stones to, to rank top 100 for this event, I would be playing twice as much, which puts me further up hit into the top 100, which means people who are in the top 100 are going to have even more points than before. So in a way, this is a good thing and not really a good thing because you know, people are gonna have a lot more harder time to reach top 100 if they are free to play. So for pay to win players, this is definitely a good thing because you're gonna set yourself way ahead from all those who are chasing you behind who are just free to play. Alright, so number three. Alright, number three. Um, okay, so in the past, yes, if you guys didn't know, you could use skip tickets to, um, to run your uh, red boss battles. Of course, you will still dish out the amount of damage, but accordingly to what the skip tickets give you the ter in terms of total score at the end of it. So playing it yourself is definitely the best way to get the best possible damage out to your red boss, uh, to red bosses that have been summoned by yourself or your your partners in the team lobby. Um, but you know sometimes you need to use the skip tickets to um, to hasten the pace because there are too many red boss being summoned out at the same time and of course there are some of them who are going to be obliterated by other people in just a moment because um, well they, they don't have much life left because of the the rarity of the red bosses like uh, maybe they are a rank and s rank or double s double uh, triple s whatever ranking they are the lower the rank the, the lesser health they have therefore it's easily obliterated by other people instead so yeah, so Dana has been kind to everybody by stating this in point number 3. Every first battle against a red boss you have not handled before, be it yours or your friends or anyone in the lobbies that's sharing their red bosses with you because they have asked you for help, the first battle is skippable for free without using a skip ticket which is fantastic fantastic stuff because skip tickets are so so rare nowadays and it's very very important for this event uh, because well you might be using your skip tickets to play the normal songs to try to get radars which are used to summon out red bosses uh, so you have to you know spare use sparingly your skip tickets you know, at the same time you might want to use it against the red bosses that are summoned by your friends or yourself you know that kind of thing so fantastic stuff that Dana has given the first battle free without um, using a skip ticket at all so fantastic fantastic things all right so number four number four is pretty important now um, in the past you can only send out one single help request um, for your red boss that you've summoned out um, you can you can actually send out the request without even touching your red boss which is not the way you should do things because uh, if you guys know by now the format of the red bosses is whoever does the first hit on the red boss will get one of the um, bonus rewards uh, so usually the person who summon out the red boss you must or you must I cannot sp specify how important it is for the person who summon out the red boss um, to fight the red boss first before sending out the help request to the other people within the lobby itself so now Nina has implemented this where you can send out 
three more other requests or rather you can send a total of three requests uh, to the red boss that you have summoned out um, to 45 people maximum um, each time so yeah so in the past you can only send out one request um, this time round you can send out three requests uh, after a certain t uh, amount of time has lapsed and you know just in case your lobby is like dead silent because people are not playing as often because of their um, commitments in life and all this kind of thing so they will send out the request you can send out another request to people who have not been requested before who are a bit more active in playing and of course they can help you assist you defeat the red boss that kind of stuff so at the same time you you yourself might be receiving more red boss requests because they themselves are having trouble finding people to assist them in defeating their red bosses so all right so number five number five is very very crucial um okay so number five uh what was it again all right number five is regarding the request of red bosses this is the most important point in well out of the six to me personally where if you are the most active person um, when a friend sends you a request to defeat their red bosses you will be taken note as top priority to be sent with the request too because well it, number four basically right um, what they are saying is the 45 people that they send the request to are all random but if you happen to be one of the 45 people who are randomly selected the first time round and you have proven yourself to be very very active in helping that particular person you will be chosen as that person's top priority by the game's uh, AI or uh, you know operating system whatever you want to call it by and whenever they send a request out you will be notified as top priority so you will definitely be the one of the 45 people uh, in that random selection confirmed by the system and of course you will definitely continue continuously be getting red boss notifications by that player because you have been consistently helping out so if you've been constantly helping out your lobby members continuously you'll be getting a buttload of red, uh, red boss notifications which is going to help you in getting top 100 so therefore proving your money's worth of constantly helping others at the same time helping yourself to get into top 100 so whew, okay let's move on to number six which i think personally is number two important information because this is going to break apart you know the difference between a pay to win and a free to play because they have changed the percentage of macross cannon charges uh, the, accordingly to what you are capable of playing so last time the full participation which is the 3 ap charge uh, play in the past it gave seven percent just like the single uh, single ap charge play it gave seven percent as well as you can see the percentage has now changed a full participation now gives you a 12 percent uh, which is definitely beneficial for those who actually toss money into red boss events by buying singing stones and using singing stones to regenerate ap that kind of stuff yes you will be getting the better load of percentage on your macross cannon charge which is going to help you out because macross cannon charge is the fastest way to gain points to rank in this current event of course single play from seven percent has now dropped to two percent because for people who don't really focus on playing and they play sparingly um well sadly to say free to play players you are now being left behind um of course you can still play like a pay to win if you've been singing uh, saving up your singing stones instead of sp spending it on you know gachas and all this kind of stuff that's what my gacha videos are there for to break down to whether to uh, decipher for you guys um whether the episode plate is definitely worth your singing stones or not you can don't pull those gachas which are not important although they might be your waifus you have to resist the temptation to do so if you want to play the whole game free to play at the same time rank high in red boss events that kind of stuff all right so the other stuff they have implemented you know uh changed well in the past when other players help you um you know 
take down a red boss event, you will be given 5% charge of Macross Cannon per person that's participated in your red boss. Now it has been changed to 1% instead of 5%, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but that's okay, uh, considering that now that they have kind of you know promoted more of red boss participations through all the other implementations as well so yeah and they have noted here with the special dot um that you know nothing has changed using singing stones and active ethers large size will boost your ap um i'm uh, sorry not not ap that recover your ap whenever you recover your ap with singing stones and active ethers large size you, your cross cannon charge percentage will be doubled so that has not changed at all so in the past last time you used your singing stones and your active ethers large you'll be getting 14 percent then of course if you use a single play it's also 14 percent but now that is doubled it is be 24 percent and of course four percent so guys that's pretty much all the notes are here for um, the uh, Super Galaxy Red Boss event that's coming out in a few days time hopefully you guys have been paying attention it is not a visual update this time round but more through text and retranslating it for you guys um, you know because if I had to if I had to do this update during the e uh, events active period I'll be losing a lot of time breaking down things recording things uh, editing the video and you know putting things together and I will not have enough time to get myself ranked pretty high uh, to get those super galaxy medals that require to exchange the episode plates within the chaos exchange itself you guys won't be able to see um, the wonderful images from those episode plates as quickly as i can <laughs> so guys um, thank you guys for bearing with me hearing my boring translations i it shouldn't be boring if you guys are as as fanatic about macross and of course playing Uta macross as i am this shouldn't be boring it should be a whole enlightening experience as to what kind of red boss event is going to be like in the future uh, and of course hopefully with all this information in mind you can probably grasp how what kind of grind you should be doing during the red boss event um, when it's coming around um, soon so yeah guys so uh, hopefully you paid very very close attention to all i had to say if not you might want to watch this video again <laughs> during your spare time uh let me know down in the comments down below what do you guys think about this new implementations to version 3.1.0 for the red boss event leave a like on this video to let me know you guys appreciate all the translations i've been doing now, of course follow me on my youtube facebook page the links in the, in the description down below subscribe to the channel if not subscribed just yet and of course share this video out to all your friends who are still crazily playing Ultra time across and you you guys want to dish out you know heavy amount of damage to the red bosses um, together you know while playing Ultra time across until then guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye